Welcome back to Linode, I'm Mike Allison and this is Fundamentals of API Security. In this fourth video, we will be taking a look at API management. Now let's look at some common API management threats, especially when you are managing multiple API endpoints and running these APIs on specific infrastructure. One of the common OWASP risks is security misconfiguration. And this risk acts as sort of a catch-all for anything related to your API's tech stack. Your API runs on specific infrastructure that brings its own set of technical configuration and requires careful consideration. For instance, most of your APIs are running on HTTP or HTTPS. Ensure nowadays that you are using HTTPS instead of the less secure HTTP. Similarly, there are many different HTTP methods available. Make sure you disable other HTTP methods that are not allowed when using your API endpoints. With cloud computing and many DevOps or DevSecOps tooling in place, it is also important to protect this infrastructure properly. Are all the elements properly secured? Are you using basic username or password combinations on your API servers? Have you patched these servers to the latest versions? And are you ensuring that there's proper encryption between systems? If your APIs are returning specific assets, like images or videos, are these assets properly protected from access? Think of a social media website. Your API stores links to images of a user and handles them all securely. But the repository itself where the images are stored is actually a publicly available repository for anyone to request images from. Make sure these components are properly locked down from unauthorized access. Again, trust no one comes into play here as well. Make sure you also set the right policies in your teams when it comes to reviewing your infrastructure periodically. Especially when it comes to patching and tracking zero-day vulnerabilities which can have a huge impact on your APIs. For instance, the recess log for j vulnerability found. Now you may have tons of microservices up and running, dozens if not hundreds of API endpoints ready to go. Your APIs might even be publicly accessible by anyone and you may have documentation available on the internet for anyone to see. And this is where improper asset management comes into play. It is critical that you version your APIs properly so you can track changes over the course of the life cycle of your API while also ensuring that you properly retire older versions in order to make sure you reduce the attack service for your API. It is not uncommon that older versions of an API are attacked because they are less secure and newer versions built in newer security mechanisms yet the older unpatched version is just simply available. That could even be found in your API documentation where you still list the old version's docs. Documentation in general is very important. Having both an internally and also externally available documentation that explains your API, the versions, the endpoints and functions available, which HTTP methods they use, the properties that are part of an object, and all what can change where is critical information. Even error messages can be useful when it comes to API documentation. Now, if you are running your API stack in parallel with other environments such as a test, staging, pre-production, or even production environment, of course, make sure that your API stack adheres to the same version control and use CICD best practices to deploy changes. Are your lower environment API stack publicly available? Are those properly secured as well? Are they isolated sufficiently from your production environments? Think about using the open API specification to add as much of this as possible in your API definition and documentation. Your API infrastructure can benefit greatly from adding monitoring and logging to ensure that you have proper visibility on what is happening with your APIs at any given time. Having the ability to track which API requests were made can be helpful in audit trails 
in case a breach happens. Of course, this comes with the challenge of ensuring that your logs are properly secured and cannot be accessed by those who don't have access to them. Tracking spikes in traffic, especially for potential attacks or high load, can also make sure your auto scaling policies kick in properly. API availability is a critical component. As mentioned before, if your API is not available for anyone to use, especially at critical moments, this can have serious implications for your business. Access logs to your API's infrastructure is also critical. Who logged into which system when? Who has access to your CI CD pipelines? And who has access to your logs and monitoring systems? It is important to put this in place. It might not be the most critical component of your API itself, but having a secure infrastructure in place for your API to operate at peak capacity is important to take into consideration, especially when your business could be growing rapidly, more and more users will be consuming your APIs. Being able to track the state of your APIs at any given time with proper monitoring and logging in place is a critical part in achieving API security. So in this video and the previous videos, we have taken a deep dive into APIs, what they are, how they work, and most importantly, taken a look at how to properly secure your APIs when designing and developing them. Now to recap, let's take a look again at AIM. AIM stands for Availability, Intel, Manipulation, and Management. These four categories are critical to breaking down your API security and leveling up your security one level at a time. Availability, ensuring that your APIs are up and running, capable of withstanding large volumetric attacks and high load is critical to achieving high availability and keep your users happy. Intel, your APIs consists of functions, objects, and properties that require careful consideration. Who can access them? How are they accessing them with authentication and authorization methods in place? Make sure that your API takes the proper measures to protect them. Trust no one is critical here. Manipulation. Similarly here, make sure your API functions, objects, and properties cannot be created, modified, or deleted without proper access to do so. Giving threat actors access to manipulate the data in your API is a major risk and can be easily exploited with a combination of attacks. And finally, management. When you are running your APIs, ensure that your API tech stack and infrastructure is secured, limit access, set up the right policies, document your APIs and their versions properly, make sure to add logging and monitoring so you have full visibility to what is happening with your APIs at any given time. The modern day web API is slowly becoming the most critical part of your infrastructure. When it comes to interfacing between your users and you, their clients and your servers. So it's absolutely essential to protect your APIs properly. Before we close it out, I wanted to take the opportunity to point you to some very helpful resources on your own API security journey. Mentioned often in this video series is OWASP. The Open Web Application Security Project is a foundation and it's a great starting point to learn more about API security. You can find it on owasp.org slash www-project-api-security. And second is the OWASP Completely Ridiculous API or Crappy, which we've used in previous videos to demonstrate some of the API risks. I believe in learning by doing and trying out different types of API exploits using the Completely Ridiculous API is very easy and fun to do. So please check out their GitHub repo on github.com slash OWASP slash crappy. And third, to learn more about APIs itself, I highly recommend resources such as the State of the API report from Postman. Postman is one of the leading API platforms to develop and interface APIs, which we've used in this video series as well. Their report gives great additional insights into the world of APIs, and you can find it on www.postman.com slash state of API. Now, working as a developer advocate at Akamai Technologies, I would be remiss not to shamelessly plug Akamai's API security solutions. And you can read more about them on our website, www.akamai.com. 
I hope that this video series has been helpful in explaining the API security challenges to you. And again, I would love to hear your feedback on how we can improve this. Good luck on your own journey with API security. I hope to see you again in one of my video series. See you next time. Thanks for watching. If you are new to Linode, be sure to click on the link in the description below to get a $100 credit added to your brand new Linode account so you can start building right away. Also, consider subscribing to the Linode channel to get notified of brand new videos coming out every week.